I've saved the best for last. Wink, wink. This is the paperwork video. Um, first, we're going to talk about field notes, which are an essential part of your documentation. Then we'll cover release forms, and then we'll wrap up by talking about how to log and process your field work. First things first, field notes. Um, a couple of you have already done your interviews and you've already um, done your field notes, which is terrific. But for those of you who have not, um, when you do your interviews, make sure you take super careful notes to the best of your ability. And as soon as possible, immediately after your interview, sit down and write about the experience. Um, you need to go through how you set up the interview, how you met this person, um, where you did the interview, and any other kind of circumstantial stuff. Um, what was the context of this? What was happening? Where are you sitting? What did they say? Are there any um, you know, pet noises on the recordings? Were there any interruptions? Did you take photos, etc.? cetera? Um, even things like how you're feeling and what the person's wearing, what you're wearing, um, help kind of set the scene. That's really what the field notes are doing. They are for your future reference, but they're also to help me figure out um, how you approached doing this interview. I will admit that they're not very fun to write, but they should be easy to write. This is not something that you need to take lots and lots of time to do um, and write carefully. You do not need to edit it heavily. Um, sit, you know, sit down and um, just hash it out. Um, maybe go through it once for spelling and punctuation, that kind of thing. This is not something that needs to follow kind of formal writing conventions. It can be pretty loosey-goosey and I'm not going to grade you on um, the exact content and quality of your writing, um, but I am going to grade you on, um, you know, how you recall the experience. So second, Release forms. Um, I've provided uh, a blank release form on my courses for you, um, either before or after your interview. You need to sit down with the person you're talking to and complete that release form. So on that form, you'll need to jot down their name, their address, their contact information, etc., and then talk about the content of your conversation and what you are or are not are or are not allowed to do with your recordings and photographs. Um, this is just a class project, right? So it's pretty easy to explain. And hopefully no one will really object to you recording or anything. But if they do object to your recording or don't want you to use those recordings in other contexts, this is where they will make a note of that. Make sure you go down the list of um, stipulations um, and rules Talk through each one with each person. Some of you are talking to multiple people. Um, and then make sure that you both sign the form so that there's a mutual agreement about what you are and are not allowed to do. This is just to cover, um, cover our asses, basically, um, in case anything happens in the future. OK, lastly, and so excitingly, we're going to talk about audio and photo logs. Um, this is basically just a way to organize your files. It's not any more complicated than that. I've also uploaded some blank forms for you on my courses. You need to go through each of your audio recordings and all of your photos and reflect those files on those forms um, and basically tell me what the content of that file is. So um, I've also provided a couple of examples for you. I hope it's pretty self-explanatory, but make sure you sit down and look at those examples and forms. Um, I think most of you will understand what I'm asking um, right off the bat. Um, if there's any confusion, go ahead and let me know and I can explain a little bit more. But for now, that's all you need to know to do your project. Um, as I said earlier in my first video, um, be communicative. If there's anything I haven't covered here and you wanna know, just go ahead and let me know and we can set up a Zoom meeting or you can drop in on office hours, which I'm holding on Zoom Monday through Wednesday. Monday and Wednesday, excuse me, um, 11 to noon. So um, if I haven't already talked to you, I hope to talk to you soon. Go ahead and email me if those office hours don't work and we can set something else up.